Let's talk about vintage cameras. There are so many different kinds that you can get at vintage stores these days. They're generally in someone's booth, in a pile, in a corner with a lot of broken bits. You'll find one that has a flash, one that doesn't, one that has a broken handle, an empty leather case. Uh, when I went shopping recently, I got this one. Ta-da! This is a Polaroid Model 150. It's from the years 1957 to 1960. It is not a working camera, but I bought this one for $30. I liked that the leather handle was still intact. A lot of them you find there's rips, it's shredding on the edges, but you can see this one is totally fine. One of the brands I see a lot of is the Brownie, and the Brownie was made by Kodak in 1900. It's one of the first amateur cameras, one that was portable, that was easy to use, and really kicked off this whole century of being able to take photos of ourselves in an instant. So. Do you think you would take hashtag no filter to the next level and get yourself an authentic vintage camera? Let's chat about it in the comments. Hello. I am typing on this Royal typewriter from 1937. It has no paper, no ribbon. It's really a great piece of technology to start collecting. 